do you think there's differences between men and women? Yes. There are biological differences between men and women. But I'm saying there's certain character attributes and traits of how young men should be raised and how young ladies should be raised. You are defining that women should be raised in one way and men should be raised in another. Without a shadow of a doubt, yes. Men should to be gentlemen, to to you to never use force unless absolutely necessary. And women who are more biologically likely to be nurturers and caretakers should be taught to be ladies from a young age. There's not there's a biological so and stay at home and no, if, if women want to do something different, that's fine. However, the data shows when men and women at around age of 6 to 18 are given the option of what kind of majors they want to study, women tend to go towards early childhood education, nursing, so on and so forth, and men tend to go towards business and finance. Men and women have biological differences. Because and of the way that they were raised. No. No, that's that. You and I completely disagree. It's the DNA chromosomal structure that is inherent to who they are. Men are better at some things than women, and women are better at some things than men. What things are men better at? Lifting heavy objects. Women are better caretakers and nurturers. Women are more organized. Women mature earlier. Yeah, I'm a way better nurturer than my sister. I work with kids. Holy shit. There are always exceptions to the rule, but the, the rule exists for a reason. So the top. There cannot be exceptions to a rule because the rule doesn't exist. So women don't get more SA than men. That's a rule you created. No, that, that's not the case. You have the rule which is a generally generally true on the aggregate, but you always have things that are outliers to the data to the data trend. Men are typically physically gifted than women, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, say that again? That men are usually stronger physically than women, that is true. The data supports that. Are there women that are stronger than men? Of course, that's an exception to a rule. That's called an outlier to data. Why is that naturally better? Like, I'm, I'm not saying better. I'm not saying one one just sex okay. or gender is better okay. than the other. They're different. I can, see, I can see your point. I can see that men do have more testosterone. Oh, okay. That, that, that's stronger. what I'm saying. So there's differences. Yes, but... Therefore, men are better at certain things than women, and women are better at certain things than men. I find it rather weird when anybody says that men are different, everybody for some odd reason sometimes think, oh, you think they're better than women? It would be like kind of a justified amount of civilians to kill in order to liberate Palestine. Justif it's as many as necessary. Resistance yeah. is always necessary because yeah. it's an inevitable fact of oppression. Yes, yes. People are going to die until Palestine is free. It's right. not something so that you can make a... Or, Here's the line. It's yeah. they are, Palestinians are going to fight until they're liberated. Yeah. So Israel so, gets to decide how many people die before that happens. Right. Oh, God, if I lived yeah. in Palestine, I'd be a terrorist. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. They, they've killed... They've would would you join Hamas? People. Would you join Hamas if you could? Probably, if yeah. I lived in Palestine. Me now, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't experienced that. If I had experienced what they experienced, 100% yeah. I'd join Hamas. Yeah. Okay, so if, if Hamas were to kill like 100,000 Israelis, like in order to liberate Palestine, you would accept that? That's not ever happened historically it's yeah. not happened with any land back movement yeah never algeria a lot of people died but it was militants the yeah. just civilian mass Do you massacres think didn't happen those were not civilians hey man you're just a google away <laughs> to find out how wrong you are do you think jews have a right to live in israel in palestine israel yeah, Jewish people have a right to live there, but, yeah, but not Jewish Zionists. Palestinians. Zionists yeah, yeah. have no right to Israel. Yeah. Israel has no right to exist. So the Jews the Jews who live there can live there as long as they don't support Zionism. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Zionism has no place in Palestine. Right. Israel has no right to exist. There have been some polls, for example, that say that 70-80% of the Israeli population are Zionists. Would you be fine with clearing out 70-80% of people? Not clearing out, but I would... See hope like programs of like for de-radicalization. Re-education? Yeah. Re-education, yeah. but... How would you re-educate people? They can either fuck off or learn empathy. Like, it's not yeah. a... Yeah. There was mass support for the Nazis in Germany. Yeah. You, there was none of that uh, arguments of how many people are you willing to kill before Hitler's... Yeah. Like that's... So, you, so you've got to de nazify Israeli society? basically yeah so basically if you don't hate your family exactly the way we are hating your family you're a zionist and get the f out
This reminds me of something that happened in UK. These people's careers away and their money away, they won't be sitting there. I'm a volunteer, okay? There's nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. What has happened to me through having this opinion and speaking out the way I do is destroyed my life, it's destroyed my wife's life, it's destroyed my mother's life. I live with constant death threats. I've got some of them here if you want to read when we talk about a two-tier policing system. I have to wear a bulletproof vest. I've got people wanting to murder me in mass. Well, then stop being a racist and a bigot. Racist, can you, can you, can you... Please explain one thing no, I've listen, ever said. I am a British Please citizen. Explain I was born in this country yes. and I do not spout off rubbish like you Please, do. Okay? No, what am I saying that's rubbish? I haven't got a death threat. Do you know why? It's because I'm a nice person. Please explain. I if, you talk about, if you talk against Islam, you'll have death <laughs> As a result of that image, me, you know, posted up. Imagine the worst, vile comments I received them, mm. and amongst them was a death threat. I, I mean, a death threat. What kind of world are we living in? This is 2017. This is Britain. Killing other people in the name of religion is a sin. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men should do nothing. And just think about that. If we all just sat and said nothing, actually terrible things would happen. And, and you are incredibly brave for actually putting your money away now. I really appreciate you saying that I'm brave, is that there are people of my colour, of my religion, now giving me death threats. And I think that's a disgrace. And that's why people are calling you out, because you mocked them in the beginning. I have got death threats. Do you know why? It's because I'm a nice person. But, and now your friends are saying... And you are incredibly brave. But I wonder how much action has been put to make you feel brave. I think that I'm sure people are either going to misinterpret or they're not going to like it even if they interpret it correctly. But I'm going to say it anyway. So, look, I, I've done research into what the immigration laws are in Scandinavian countries. Because Scandinavian countries look lit, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so there have been times in my life where I'm like... Maybe I do what I need to do and enter a, a, a Scandinavian country, become a citizen, you know. Oh, that's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But part of the reason why I'm not going to do that is because their immigration laws are super strict. And you want to know why they're super strict, Jake? Because they have a robust social safety net that is paid for by the citizens. They pay a lot in taxes in order to have that yeah. social safety net. And so when you know, immigrants come in and they haven't paid into that system. They see that as unfair, which is why they're very restrictive with immigration. That's racist. Because they keep saying we need to be like the Scandinavian countries, but you don't vote or pass laws like this. These Scandinavian countries, they are not that big and they focus on their own people. That's racist. Donald Trump has the worst record of job loss of any president. So we just have to make sure people know. That was a global pandemic. <laughs> God. He had the worst record of any president. We've had other concerns in our country. If you want to be an apologist for Donald Trump, that, that may be your role. Boy, that escalated quickly. You just witnessed Nancy Pelosi display, proudly display her, her hypocrisy in the context of the same interview, the same conversation within three minutes. You are technically correct. Well, she goes from fear mongering about Donald Trump and his lack of respect for freedom of the press, and then goes on to accuse an anchor at MSNBC, Katie Tour, of being an apologist for Donald Trump for simply stating a fact. Welcome to my channel, I'm an apologist. Remember to like the video. But the fact that she's being misleading, you think Americans aren't aware of that? When they see those kinds of lies, then they lose trust overall in the party that that representative is representing. And that's the Democratic Party. They don't realize that. They think Americans are idiots. We're not idiots. I mean, they got the whole race voting for Democrats anyway. Why would it not work for the other ones? So rather than touting what Biden has accomplished during his economy, she goes negative. Because that's all Democrats are now conditioned to do. Negative, negative, negative. They, even when they get things done, right? even when they have things to celebrate, their minds are not trained to focus on using that as part of their campaign. They've been focused on negative campaigning endlessly since what, 2015? And that's it, that's all they do. And it's misleading, people don't like it because it's dishonest. How to be a Democrat. So Anna literally destroyed the main talking point 
generally by most Democrats these days. Amazing. How dare you? Do you think what you did last night was the right thing to do? It was the right thing to do. I hate propaganda from either side. I hate being told what I'm supposed to believe. So I like to go in and see for myself. So I snuck into the camp. It was very easy. I just put on a tacky outfit and went and bought the same wristbands from Staples. I know this is an outdated term, but is cultural appropriation not a thing anymore? And I saw the conditions that were back there. I saw the sanitation hazards of them all using the same bucket to poop in. Brother, ugh. What's that? And I saw the, or I overheard the conversations that they were having in there. It was full of hate speech. It was full of just calling for the bloodshed of Zionists. It was them being angry and it ultimately started to get violent once my friend Cam Higby's cover was blown. Once they realized as they were describing him as a white Republican, they immediately knew that they had to kick him out and they locked arms. They were shoving him up the stairs and then back down the stairs to get him out of the encampment. And it just goes to show how aggressive these college students are getting. I just realized this is kind of disgusting. They use the same bucket to poop. It kind of makes sense. They're they're camping all day and they don't want to leave. And you they want they want people to bring their food. Do they want people also to take their shit? For Palestine. I think this is the only time in society that I hear people talking about this strategy and certain people defend it publicly. You can't afford not to like black people. You don't like black people enough, you could become one yourself. They prosecuted Trump so much, black people feel identified with him. And they prosecuted Palestine so much, feminism feels identified with him. Women? Yes. 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 Do women need men? No. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. We're here on a girls trip because we have each other and we've had the most fun. There's been no stress, no drama, no text messages. We're living our best life. Exactly. What would society be like without men? I think the great men stay. The trash men go. Where's the trash man? Take them out. What percentage of men are good and what percentage are trash? 10% are good. Yeah. 90 yeah. of them are trash. Yeah. What would society be like without women? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. What do you think feminism has done to modern day women and men in their relationships? I think modern day feminism is just an absolute disgrace. I think it's uh, become a political weapon. I think it's forcing it on like malleable, malleable minds at the minute. Women, young girls especially, to push the narrative that women are inferior to men and women are not valued in society and women need to fight and be almost super aggressive towards men is is completely wrong because women are probably one of the most valuable things in society. And feminism tells women that men don't believe they're valuable. Feminism tells women that men don't value them as, as a whole, but I think feminism makes women feel like they're not valuable to themselves. And I think that's the worst message that you could instill in the younger generation. Because the message is I'm valuable, but depending on the amount of value you give me, I'm a different value. I don't really need you. But depending on the day and the value, I can pick and choose because Man. I decide what my value is. But depending on the value that you give me, don't get me wrong. My boss is a bong. Put the fire na me blonde. Kush hash purple skunk. Creo yo colombici jam jam. Durlo que ta verde ta welcome.